Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Carrie and I'm a flight attendant and today I'm gonna be sharing with you what I keep in my flight attendant lunchbox. This thing is huge, you guys. Uh, I have this packed really full right now. Um, it's good for a two day trip, three day trip, four day trip, anything you need. I always bring a lot of food because I'd rather have healthy foods with me then have to try and find something in the airport that probably isn't so good and is going to cost you an arm and a leg so this is really essential for me on my trips whenever i go and i've been a flight attendant for six years now so i really have it down pat the important things to bring so if you're interested in seeing how i pack this then let's get into it so i did not pack this for this video this is raw this is real it is a little messy i'm gonna be completely honest i actually am supposed to be at work right now but we got delayed like 10 hours so i came home and decided to film this for you guys so i'm gonna angle the camera down a little bit because it's a little too heavy for me to lift right now so this lunch box is by travel pro i do not think that you can purchase it if you're not a crew member but i have bought some off amazon to try and find similarities so i will absolutely link those in the comments below and i'll only list the ones that are good quality and are actually similar to this because I know how it is if you see a product that someone else is using that's the exact product you want so I'm gonna be as similar as I can be I'm Miami flight attendant so Miami crew tag and it just has a top zipper right here so you open this bad boy up and in the back here I keep some travel dish soap it tends to explode so I have it in a ziploc baggie oh I have cash cash for the van drivers I didn't know that was in there um, I like to keep extra sauces like vinaigrettes, ranches, things like that, extra olive oil. Um, and then these are really great on the go. These are the Celsius um, packets that you can just put in water and they'll give you energy. What else? Some sugar-free suckers in case I get a sweet tooth. That's about it. Um, oh. And then I also keep my collagen with me on the go. They just come in these capsules, which is really handy for travel. Um, so I just keep those in there. Also keep my electric whisk in here. This thing is great for multiple things, whether it's that Celsius. Um, I do bring protein with me, so it's easier to whisk it in this. So in the actual top compartment right here, I have some seaweed chips. I like to mix some tuna with avocado and with olive oil and then eat it with the seaweed chips and I tell myself it tastes like sushi. I keep some fiber one bars for my sweet tooth. Protein bars, oh my God, best friend with travel. An abundance of extra silverware. So you never know when you're gonna need it. I was sick not too long ago and I like to just keep this on me. Some day quill in case one of the crew members isn't feeling well some um, olive oil. I do wanna say that um, if you are not a flight attendant and you're a passenger, you are absolutely able to travel with food as long as it's it within the liquid policy for TSA. And if you're going out of the country, you need to look into what foods you're allowed to bring in, bring out, things of that nature. So keep that in mind when you're traveling. Well, I actually, these are called Go Stack Me's. And in here I have some garlic salt and I have used these for years guys you can do so much with them I have my protein powder and another one down here and it just makes it so easy to travel with I keep a spray with me a Bath and Body Works one because people be stanky this one is coconut sandalwood some hand sanitizer this is my extra door lock for safety in hotel rooms it's a must and a hair clip and then this is extra just silverware napkins I spilled some olive oil. This might be a good time for me to go through this, actually. Okay, so getting down a little bit lower, we have this front pocket. And in here, you guessed it, more silverware. I have a lot of tin foil. On the plane, we have ovens, depending on which plane you're on. Um, and if you don't have like an oven safe dish with you and you use tin foil underneath it, it won't burn, it won't catch fire. So a lot of times this is how we will heat up our food. You just put this underneath your food and it is good to go in the oven. So you'll always see tin foil in a flight tents bag, that's for sure. I have a pack of hand sanitizer, sanitizer wipes that a um, passenger actually gave me in a little gift bag. Some more hand sanitizer wipes. Mio flavored water. Lemonade is super good. Some gum. What else? More silverware. 
And then this is a green tea blueberry slim. So that's all that I keep in that pouch. So before we get into the girth of the bag, this is something I always carry with me and it kind of has to do with food. This is called a Hot Logic Mini and it's not very big and it's super slim so it's very easy to pack. And all it is is a hot plate that you plug in to an outlet and this plate gets hot and you can heat up food. This is a saving grace if you travel a lot or let's say you even, you know, work construction or something like that and you need to plug something into the car. This will heat up your food within like, I give it time. I give it 30 minutes or so. Um, it comes in an array of colors and I have used that since the beginning of my flight tank career and it never fails me. All right, so here she is. Here is my tag, remove before flight. Let's open her up. In here, I bring a lot of drinks with me. So I have two of these electrolyte coconut waters. They have a slight taste of coconut. It's nothing overbearing and zero sugar, zero ions, zero calories. These are my favorite. I buy them in bulk. I have a energy drink with me. This is my favorite flavor. Just for days like today when we're delayed, delayed, delayed. I have an ice pack. So I bring a few seasonings with me because everything tastes better. Garlic salt and crushed red pepper. I have an avocado. I made this white rice, chicken, beans, um, and cilantro dish, kind of like a chipotle situation. And this is a glass container. I can link it below. So this is safe to go in the oven. It is a little bit heavier, but it makes it more convenient when you need to just throw it in the oven on the plane and eat in a rush. I have some cotton candy grapes. A few of these sparkling ice, black cherry and cherry limeade. I have a full container of cottage cheese fat free. Um, some hearts of palm and some turkey sausage. So I'll just do turkey sausage like two of these and a scoop full of hearts of palm. So easy to do on the go and so filling. I have my protein powder with me and I'll use that whisk and whisk it up in a glass after my workout. And I have two, um, this is a peach apricot that I got from the grocery store. And then the last thing I bring with are these very, very lightweight expandable dishes. So they look like this, and then you just put the lid over top of it. And these are oven safe. So to make my little situation with the turkey sausage, I'll put the turkey sausage in here, throw it in the oven, add the other um, pieces of the meal and just eat it out of here and clean it on the go because I do bring that dish soap with me and it makes it easy, convenient, and these pack up super small. Last thing that I bring with me is this like old school head cold um, ice thing. So you just screw off the top and you can put ice in here and then this is the other way that I keep my food cold. Um, you know, once the ice starts to melt, you can pour it out and then add new ice. This has been the best way that I have found to keep my food cold. Um, because things like this start to melt and there's no way to refreeze it on the go. This is just most convenient. And if you get sick, you know, that could really come in handy. So win-win. That is it for what I pack with me on this three-day trip. It changes all the time, guys, but I try my best to keep things healthy, keep things easy to do on the go, and do things that don't kind of make you feel like you're traveling, things that you might make at home, but still convenient. You know, everything's about convenience when you're traveling. And I know I've heard so many people say it's so hard to stay healthy and all you eat is junk food, but there are so many good options. And like I said, you can bring food with you as long as it's in the requirements of TSA. So make sure to look into that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.